So, um, what do the movies Titanic and The Sixth Sense have in common? I don't know, something about dead people, I'm guessing. I see dead people. I see dead people. Mm, there we go. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Virtually Real. This is your Tima, Hi. and she hates it when I misquote old movies. But frankly, my dear, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that, right? Is that what's meant to happen? Like, because I blinked now, like I can blink when there's no metronome. Do my piece. I can't find it. Oh, crap. What do you think he's thinking about? I put all the pieces of this puzzle together. Man, this blinking business, I'm getting like half ass the story. The one time I don't blink, there's no story here. Come on. Ooh, we're older now. The cat's older. We're older. And the cat's just pissed on the files. Hey, Shortima. Hello. How are you, Kieran? I'm good. Thank you for coming over today. Oh, thanks for having me. I appreciate that. Now, today's game was Before Your Eyes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can really call it a game. Experience. Definitely an experience. Today's but... experience was yeah. Before Your Eyes. It was. It was. What were your first impressions? Um... I was concerned about how much I would blink, which I obviously did blink at the wrong time. So I guess in the gameplay or the experience, let's just call it gameplay to make it easier, uh, you're controlling everything with your eyes. So moving around, looking at the scenery, and as you interact with everything with your eyes, um, more things appear, and then there's a little metronome. And if you blink when the metronome turns up, you fast forward. Now that could be two days, five seconds, two months years so that's pretty much the gameplay i guess um in that or the mechanisms of the gameplay well hello there oh, stranger <laughs> even though you're no longer in your body your body's still inside of you wait what that makes any sense <laughs> no <laughs> so if you understand what i'm saying um blink over my hand here i as close as i can Ooh, well look at that. Class A storyteller. Please. I just realized he's only got one ear. <laughs> oh, shut up, you trash birds. Now don't be afraid. And don't try. No, I didn't mean to. <laughs> and just try to enjoy it this time. This time? As if that was like a first time. Oh, there we go. That was. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? It's a narrative-driven experience. Mm, yes. What, what, one would be best to maybe to classify it as like an interactive film. Storytelling? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like, movie. do you remember um, the books back when, I don't know, well, um, they used to be like the Choose Your Own Adventure novels, like where you would actually be like on this page, like, you know, decide to go there or this. And then there's, there's elements of that, like, you know, do this or hold on to it. And I don't know if that, if I chose alternative would it have manifested a different story at the end? Like I, I it, it makes me want to go back and potentially see it through and be like, okay, well, let's pick the other alternative. Or if I, because I blinked at certain junctures, does it did that change the way that I perceived the story because I'd I had blinked too early or too late or too something, and as a result, that could that have affected my um my perception of the story when I was actually being. Ask some questions about it and the thing. Look at that! Oh, I'm a year old. Right. We have to. That's a great oh, idea. Oh, oh sorry. Oh. <laughs> My own fault. <laughs> well, that, that's the boat with the little wind up thing so, on the back of it. I don't know. Maybe. Be smart. Looks like a baby. Oh, no. Right. There's the boat again. No, I'm sorry. Someone's birthday. My birthday. It really means a lot. Mm, no, well, that calendar's the same. There's no markings oh. on it. Oh, if you're mad that you aren't good enough yet, you'll just have to keep working at it. Oh, that's what I tell Lucas. Ha! Ah. <laughs> that used to be my piano. Oh, Mum's telling her my story. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. The voice acting and the narrative of the story. We're not. We're not 
going to try and give anything away. No, it is, no. this, this is basically, I wouldn't say it's a one and done experience, but it, it can be ruined for you going in. Yes. So, yeah. but, so, but did the story, did the voice acting and all that work for you? Um, yes and no. I, I guess it allowed for the immersion. Like I, I found myself looking and being like the character, being like, oh, and putting myself in that character position, but then also being, um, like a person outside observing the experience. So I think like there are times where I was like, okay, yeah, I am the character um, who's, who's doing, who's telling the story. And then other times I was like more of a, I'm on the outside looking in, I guess. So yes, in a way it, it did like allow for immersion, but it also, I don't know, maybe I'm, I didn't because I was like thinking, well, well, what's the next step? And I think that's just a product of who I am. And like, is there a puzzle? Is there something that I need to break through? Are there kind of themes or are there things that I could be picking up so that I can tell, like, I don't know, I was putting on my puzzle, I guess, mine. <laughs> I can hear you from it as well. You got, you, you got so annoyed with yourself every time you did blink. Yeah. Oh, I was I like, oh, I want to see what's yeah, happening there. I want yeah. to see what's happening there. I just don't want him to get attached. It's a puppy! Winter. Oh, it's a cat. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen! Wait, is that... That's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Richard, are you hearing this? You're off, Ben. You can't hear that? Nope. Playing with my eyeballs. You're really getting there, honey. Next week, we'll start working on your other hand. Listen to him, Richard. I've been listening to him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. One of my favorite parts on this is the piano playing. Yeah, I I didn't know if I was moving my head fast enough. And then there were parts where I was like, okay, this is fine. I get the gist of it, like playing the piano with your your, your eyes. But I was like, do I need to keep doing this? Could I not fast forward? Because I guess I wanted the pacing of the story was starting. I felt like I was starting to kind of get slow. Like I was like, okay, cool. I've got the premise of it. Like I do want the story to go to go. Like I wanted to, I guess, the pacing. And I don't know if that was me blinking and me getting, now, like, wanting to, see, I guess, what would be. I guess the pacing, I just wanted it to kind of tell the story as opposed to, judgment. like, build some of those, like, little narrative things, all those sort kind of like nuances of, like, gameplay, I guess, where you are <laughs> using your eyes to do things that you wouldn't normally. The thing I love is, because you're not used to VR, you could sit there completely still and just move your eyes to play the piano. Yeah. But you went all Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Well, I didn't see it. Neither did he. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Low hanging fruit, Karen. Ooh, done some red eyes. Love the teal splash back. Chloe. Oh, okay, we got her name. Oh, shoot. I think I gotta go. But, um, try to take a photo of me running into my house. I'm pretty fast, so I don't think you'll be able to. <laughs> but you can try. What the hell? My name is Mr. Isaac. Alright, school now. Hey you. Look on your desk. That's I wrote Chloe. Oh, we're 11 now. Okay, we're back in this kitchen. This kid's a bit sad. Days until audition. 30. Remember the first day of the rest of your life. Oh, well, that's toxic positivity, isn't it? Doing alright. It's got a few... Um, trophies that look like they're for music related activities. Is he going to hang out with Chloe? Okay, well this game is 23 Australian dollars or it's free with you, if you have the um, PS Plus uh, subscription, so it's a free game if you're if you're a member of PS Plus. Value for money? Yeah, well if you, if you bought a novel and you it was like 20 something dollars and there was a bit of a mystery through it, like there you go. If I bought an audio book, that would be like the same thing and out there, yeah. That's what I thought. She'd be calling. Sneak out. Try to sleep. I feel, oh, I didn't mean to click that, but reckon Ben would have snuck out, actually. Uh, does that mean now I've, like, kind of, there's a, a change in, like, the story because I've picked something? There's no going back. 
Uh, there's no going back. I know. He's shopping at the bit. <laughs> Just until this nasty thing clears. Um, crook. Hey, Elle, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Oh, something a bad's happening. Clerical thing. I need you to look at before I can let you two go. There is no teaching art. Just feeling art. It's very. Oh, I'm making my own composition Sorry. here. This game um, is quite an old game. It was it, oh, it really? did get uh, bought out last year, um, and a lot of people did emote. Oh, to the story. Oh, yeah. It's the, in this did space, it, there's a lump of coal. Did, yeah, did it, I was going to say, did it affect you? Um, n not the way. I did not feel that kind of mum pang. I guess you could call it like the a mum emotional heartstrings of the of of how it. Yeah, I thought that it would. But no, I didn't. Unfortunately. She's got no soul. Oh, a stone. <laughs> yeah. To actually making some money with one's art. Lord knows I could never do it. Oh, Ben's older now. we are drinking wine. Oh, you've like published your music. Is that, is that really you? It, it's Chloe, your neighbor. Oh, wow. Hello. Oh my God, I can't believe this. It's been years. I, I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was over demanding, forcing him to practice day in and day out, hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she oh, never could. Okay, so if, I guess if you spent more time like listening and seeing that, the story, you might have got a different perspective. What was she to you? Keep your eyes open. As you were getting towards the end, um, and this isn't giving anything away, but it was forcing you to keep your eyes open. I was like, maybe this is why people cried because they were just straining to keep their eyes open. It's just watery which really, eyes. <laughs> it's like, oh, that one. Emotional I tears. I don't know why I was crying. It's like, no, no, it's because you were forced to keep your eyes wide open mm. for a minute at a time. Yeah, nah, that's definitely no. No, she's just got no emotions. <laughs> Wow. Okay, well, we do this at the end of every Virtually Real. One thumb for, was the game experience good? Yeah. One thumb for, would you buy it? Where are your thumbs? My, my thumb, oh, wait, one thumb is for purchasing and yeah. one thumb is for... The game. The game. Which so you thumb can, goes for which? Well, <laughs> let, let's do game first. Where's your, th where's your game thumb? Yeah, I'd play it again. I would like to play it again just to see. But, uh, yeah, but a fast forward kind of, just so quick. Like, I want to see it, like, when I'm a person who plays a game, I want to kind of get into every, like, nook and cranny kind of thing. Like, it... I don't know. I just need to know the lay of the land. I think that might have helped. So yes. where, where's your thumbs? Where's your game thumb? Game thumb. Okay. And where's your would you buy from for twenty three dollars? Am I allowed to say I wouldn't buy? But if someone just gave it to me, and no, I'd be you like, can. Yeah, you yeah. can. Oh, oh, like a definitely. To we know. need your second thumb though. You can't do all this on one thumb. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it. Two, I'm gonna give it two yeah. thumbs. And the, yeah. the reason I'm giving it two thumbs is because I play a lot of VR. Yeah. True. And this was something different, different to 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 a lot of the VR experiences and if if, if VR is going to grow as a as a medium then it needs to expand beyond the boundaries of where it's been pigeonholed Fair enough. That, that, into rhythm games and zombie shooters yes okay I, on that i can understand your perspective and obviously mine being like my, my experience fits on a post it note i would be like well that's cool what memberships are now live on the channel so if you want to see short team full playthrough of before your eyes then for a price of a cup of coffee every month you can not only see short team as playthrough but all my friends that come over to play vr hours and hours and hours and hours of content all that's left to say is thank you, Shaw Teamer, for coming over and playing before my eyes. Oh, thanks. It was, that, that sounds rude. I know. Playing before, yeah. Thank you home for watching. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, why were the Star Wars movies released in the order of 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9? Because 7, 8, 9? I, I don't know. Like, yeah. No, I guess. In charge of the release schedule, Yoda was. <laughs> Uh, okay, do you have one for me? I do. Did you hear the about the cat who got a speeding fine? No. He was going 100 meows per hour. Oh, dear. And this is why I do the jokes. I picked the worst of the worst. <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's good. I, I, I borrowed them from my seven-year-old. <laughs>